my box monitors. So <clears throat> here is Dick Butt version one. Uh, it's an OKRT10 okay mod on a uh, printed circuit board. Here's the Dick Butt. All right, we'll walk you through. I'm just going to walk you through the uh, all the components real quick. It does work, by the way. Makes vapor. Just like that. So, uh, from the dick butt, we have um, voltmeter connection. Obviously, we have a little voltmeter down here. What's in the box, you can't put the voltmeter on the bottom like this. There's not enough room. Uh, voltmeter had to go on the side, facing out or facing up. We'll cover up the dick butt a little bit. Sorry. Um, voltmeter switch. There we go. 7.7. Yeah, we got our onboard firing button. It has room for a tactile and uh, wiring for an off-board wiring switch. So you can do both if you want to. Uh, it's up to you. Pot. Voltage adjustment, the way I have this thing set up, it goes from uh, about 3.4 volts to about 6.5 volts, which is a little higher than spec. That's fine. The way I did that is I used a 200 ohm resistor instead of a 20 ohm, 220 ohm resistor. And your pull down and uh, trim Resistors are on the back. Those are super, super tiny. They're all pretty tiny, though. Uh, you've got your uh, Zener diode. Right there, above the fire switch, it works. And you've got your OKR T10. And right behind the OKR, I don't know if you can tell, there's a cap. The uh, It's not necessary for the OKR. It is, um, by the spec sheet suggested, it's if you're using a connect Raptor, it is by the spec sheet required. So I'll put it in there just to make sure that uh, you can see that's where it goes. <clears throat> we have our reverse polarity MOSFET, or reverse polarity LED, which is real bright. I make sure to put a bright one in here. Um, and since this works, I'm going to put up a uh, shopping list. And with that shopping list you'll get uh, this this LED. You don't have to use this LED. I don't fucking care what you use. Uh, use whatever you want. But uh, this LED is super, super bright. I mean, it's real bright. So, you need an emergency flashlight? You got yourself a fucking uh, reverse polarity indicator LED for that purpose. Um, if for some reason you put the batteries in parallel, eh, it doesn't really do anything. It doesn't fire, it doesn't really do anything. Um, because Batteries are at basically zero volts at that point. That's a different different lesson, just so you know. Um, back the normal way. Okay, so uh, what else? I showed you pretty much everything on there. I mean, that's it. That's all there is to it. Uh, oh, wait, fuses. So we have the fuses because they're underneath. Um, you've got your fuses right there. Those little guys, uh, two five amp fuses. Uh, you. They are of a size to where you, they're, they'd be too tall if you tried to stack and make a 20 amp fuse set up. I don't know why you would, but just letting you know, that's um, a bit outside what you can do with this thing. Um, you can probably find 7 amp fuses that'll fit in there. Uh, or you can just um, bridge the connections and we'll go the fuses. Uh, like I said, I don't really care. It's up to you. You can basically defeat all the uh, extra features on this thing by bridging the connections with solder. And uh, so, firing at about 4.2 volts on a uh, 0.36 ohm coil. Um, I go W3, fucking <laughs> brand new, brand new atomizer, right? I've had this for a while, um, and it's uh, still runs like a champ. So. This drops into a B box. Uh, the potentiometer, if you mount it on board, uh, you're going to have to drill a hole for it in the box because it sits off the board a little bit unless you bend it over. But if you bend it over, then you're not going to be able to use the tactile switch because uh, it's going to it's going to be in the way. Just stuff for you to know. Um, Otherwise, there's not not a whole lot to it. Uh, I haven't done any voltage drop testing uh, to see if the traces lose any significant amount of uh, energy. Uh, but I'll do that at some point. Um, if you're real iffy about the 
PCB thing to begin with. Don't fucking use it. Uh, <clears throat> but I'll keep testing and uh, I'll let you know what uh, what I find out. But like I said, I'll put I'll put a link. I'll put up a shopping list. I'll put a link to the board on um, from Osh Park uh, in the description. And that's about it, guys. So uh, everything works. We're, you saw the reverse, reverse polarity protection work. You're going to have to trust me that the Zener works the way it's supposed to. I don't know. Battery is low enough to try it out right now. Uh, yeah, so fucking vape on, motherfuckers.